What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more prints. As we go through his material, it does seem like the copyright protections for his stuff in relation to the YouTube algorithms are much more stringent. So who knows if you're seeing the full version of this, but as I keep mentioning, if YouTube blocks the full version, which I should mention, like, what I've noticed about the Prince reactions is they're getting blocked, not worldwide, which is like when that happens, literally like no one can see your video. So, you know, you just have to either mute the part that is the offending quality or, you know, find some other workaround and host it on some other website or whatever. But the Prince reactions aren't actually getting blocked worldwide, but they're getting blocked in like 178 countries out of the, you know, 200 and whatever there are. So they're getting blocked in the vast majority of the world, including in some cases the US or, you know, the UK, where those are probably... The US, the UK, and Germany, I think, are like the most prominent. Norway, there's a few. Shout out to all you AHA fans. Um, but ultimately, the point is, um, they're not getting blocked worldwide, but they're getting blocked in a lot of places where most of the people who follow my videos um, live. So. Um, I do apologize about that, but as I keep saying, and now actually, you know, Patreon just let me know that I can host videos on Patreon itself. So I'm still, if you want to email me, I can make available through like Google Drive um, the reactions. Uh, but my plan is to take the Prince reactions and to put them up permanently on Google Drive or on Google Drive on Patreon, uh, Patreon, in the same way that, you know, my videos here on YouTube are just up permanently and you can watch them whenever you want. Um, so that's my plan. So again, you know, you don't have to give very much to be part of Patreon, but there are um, bonus perks that I've already had up there. And again, for any Prince fans, if it's, um, you know, an enticement to you, my plan is to put all the reactions for him up on um, Patreon so that people can watch them whenever they want in full. Whatever, we'll listen to this one now, and again, we'll see where it ends up. Uh, but it's Girls and Boys, which it sounds like we're going to be talking about adult matters of romance and love and sex and so on, but using that phrasing, which I think, you know, speaks to the age-old idea that, you know, girls and boys and men and women, they do the things they do, and, you know, they're, they're human in the way they engage with that dance, if you will, both, you know, literal and figurative, so um, I feel like it's going to be speaking to, you know, what it's like to be a human who's interested in, um, a person of the other sex and how that might relate to, you know, um, dance floors or um, hot, passionate nights together. So let's find out if that has anything to do with it. But given the content of some of the other songs, I do not think that would be entirely surprising. Here we go. This is Prince, Girls and Boys, a uh, track included on a compilation of 80s tunes uh, provided by a friend of the channel, Chris.
like what I've noticed in his tunes, the ones outside the handful that I was already familiar with, I am looking forward to listening to uh, When Doves Cry, because that's a track that I've enjoyed for a long time, and it's one of the only ones that going into it will have a sense of a lot of what it sounds like and so on. But the tunes that I've been going through, which are completely unknown to me, not only do they have a perhaps higher degree of funk, not only does he do way crazier things with his vocals than I ever realized, but there's a lot going on sonically, little touches, like underlying vocals that not only are sort of, um, you know, interesting just in terms of like the way they're being delivered, whether it's breathy or it's sort of like a humming type of delivery, but then they're part of like the overall sonic um, you know, whole or like combination of all the different elements. Um, and again, like triangle, the, like the, I think it was like a muted saxophone or something that like really deep bubbling sax, the other sort of funky element, which, you know, I went over the course of it. Is it a trumpet? Is it a kazoo? Is it a guitar with effects on it? Is it just a keyboard? I don't know what that is, but it was really funky and fantastic as well. Um, and then again, you know, it's funny. I mentioned like, not only have I heard Prince now sing in a voice that could easily be mistaken for a female singer where I've done that, but someone was actually mentioning, uh, I did a reaction to a George Michael tune just a couple days ago, um, and in that reaction, um, at the end of Hard Day, there's a voice that for all the world to me sounded like a female, like she comes in at the end of the tune. Well, it turns out that was just George, and they, people were saying they think they did manipulate it and like pitch it up a bit. Um, to really make it sound like a different voice, but they were saying that's actually him and someone commented that it's kind of like when Prince does his Camille voice So I don't remember someone mentioning that specifically. Maybe they did um, But that made me curious that like he has a recurrent like female character with a specific voice that he's done in multiple tunes um, So I was intrigued by that. So then when I'm hearing the like sung female vocals here um, I, or like, especially the sort of vocalizations, just those short ones where it sounds like a female voice. It's like, okay, that could just be a female vocalist, but you know, it could be Prince, you know, doing, uh, again, vocal work beyond what I realized he did going into this. Um, but I'm pretty sure that like spoken word, French accented, almost like reggae toaster type delivery part was not Prince. Again, maybe I'm wrong there, but that one felt I the most I'm the most confident in thinking that that was not Prince himself, so um, I enjoyed that bit because, you know, again, uh, maybe it was more French hip-hop flavor, maybe it was you know, like French funk, but um, I do listen to a lot of reggae, including not just from Jamaica, but from some different places, and there's like, you know, some French reggae artists that like the way they deliver the lines, it's kind of that, it's spoken, but there's some melody to it, and like the way she was delivering that um, was similar to that, so bottom line, um, a cool uh, tune overall, again, lots going on, a crazy progression, not a simple like intro, like lyric, or verse, chorus, verse, chorus, outro. Um, just so much like dynamism to his tunes. So I'll stop babbling. This does tend to happen when I listen to a track that really, you know, sort of captures my fancy. Uh, but yeah, as I said, if this doesn't get through on YouTube, I'm going to mute the song section so at least the video can be up on YouTube and I'll have a link. Um, or a pinned comment where I'm basically saying, you know, email me at my email address um, and then I can give you access to the video, which again, I'll probably still do in this short term on Google Drive. Uh, but as I said, um, for the patrons, my plan is to eventually put any videos that weren't um, able to get up on YouTube uh, in their full form hosted on Patreon. Because I think I said, I think they, the email said I'll have up to 100 gigs. And you know, the videos are... A lot of them are slightly less than one gig or whatever. So we're talking a significant number of videos that I'll be able to host there like long term. So um, yeah, that's the plan. Let me know what you think of this song, whether you know it's here or elsewhere, uh, and I will see you next time. Peace. Okay.